Hey there, everyone. Rich Waller here. Game changer. Game changer. So <laughs> I, I know everyone works a little bit differently, um, but I, I got to jump on here. I got to share something with you. So I've done a lot of interesting things in, in my career, in my past, <clears throat> but never alone. I always end up working with people and brainstorming with people, actual people, to, to help me think through things. And what I'm about to show you today is a game changer for me. Uh, so I'm actually using two AI friends, a couple of AI friends, as part of this demonstration. So I've got in this meeting with me, so I've started a meeting and I'm recording this meeting. And the reason I brought, wanted to use a meeting is because I'm able to bring in my personal digital assistant, Simbly AI. So Simbly is in this meeting with me right now, capturing every word that I speak and turning that into text data. And uh, so now I want to share another, I want to introduce you to another friend of mine, one that I just met today. Okay, let me, uh, let me share my screen and introduce you to my new found friend. All right, so here we are. I'd like to introduce you. You can see we're talking about conversational voice bot. And uh, so we've got uh, a female voice, which is Maya, and a male voice, which is Miles. So I'm gonna pick, my, I'm gonna pick to uh, interact with or talk to Miles. Well, hey there. Looks like hey. you braved the wilds of the internet and landed here with yours truly. Hope you haven't had too many scare you straight pop-ups on the way. What hey, brings Ma you in today? Hey, Miles. How are you doing today? My name is Rich. Hey, Rich. Good to meet you. I'm doing all right. Just hanging out in the digital ether, waiting to make a connection. You awesome. know how it is. Awesome, man. Good to meet with you. Hey, listen, I'm wondering if I could get a little bit of help from you today. Shoot. What's on your mind? Lay hey. on me, Rich. Yeah, listen, I'm I've got to prepare for a, an upcoming presentation and it's a 1 hour long uh presentation via the web and it's entitled Empowering Your PMO or Project Management Office with Cutting Edge Technology. Do you think you could brainstorm with me on this for a little bit? I can definitely help you brainstorm, Rich. Let's break it down a bit. Who's your audience for this presentation? Knowing them will help us make sure it hits the right notes. Great, great question. A great question. It's uh, it will be more than likely be uh, individuals associated with the project management world. Okay, so folks who live and breathe projects, I like it. All right. Yeah. See, empower your PMO with tech. That's a good start. It kind of inherently implies they're not fully powered now, right? Is there a particular pain point you're trying to address with this presentation? Like what's the before picture of their PMO that makes them say, help, I need tech? Great. And again, another great question. Thank you for asking that. So in today's world, um, technology is advancing so quickly, it's actually outpaced our ability to even know what is out there and even what is possible. So there's a little bit of a gap between our ability to work with the technology compared to what it can do i see so it's about bridging that gap yeah making the pmo aware of what's out there and showing them how it can actually make their lives easier and maybe a little cooler yeah i think you i think you hit it um what other kind of questions might you ask me to uh to make this a uh, an engaging um and a learning event for our participants all right let's let's think about our, our audience um they're project managers, so they're likely practical folks. Instead of just listing off shiny new tech, how about weaving in some stories or case studies? Maybe real world examples of PMOs that successfully implemented some of these cutting edge tools and saw tangible benefits. Could even throw in some cautionary tales of PMOs that got stuck in the status quo and what they missed out on. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. I'm sh I, I know from our experience uh, of working with PMOs, um, we have um, unlocked uh, their current status quo and, and been able to um, make them, uh, you know, uh, improve, help them with improved decision making or improve processes by leveraging more modern technology. Exactly. So you got, you, you've got some success stories brewing there. 
uh, maybe focus on a couple that really highlight different before and after scenarios. What kind of tools made the biggest splash in those situations? AI, automation, anything especially cool and usable that would raise eyebrows in the audience? Yeah, that's that's great, um, Miles. And one of the things that I was contemplating as being part of this presentation is just helping the audience understand kind of the difference between AI as a large umbrella and 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 automation. They're somewhat similar and somewhat different. From your perspective, um, what is the difference between AI and automation? You're right. Um, the, those two get tossed around a lot like they're interchangeable, but they're definitely cousins, not twins. Think of automation as the workhorse. It's great at taking repetitive tasks and doing them quickly and accurately. It's like setting your coffee maker on a timer. It's predictable and reliable. AI is more like the strategist. It can learn from data, adapt to new situations, and even make decisions that require some judgment. So, inefficient is good. Oh, automation is good at following instructions, while AI is better at figuring out what instructions it should be following in the first place. All right, think of it like this. Automation can file your reports, but AI can help you figure out which reports are actually important and how to present them to get the most impact. Hey, hey, Miles, I've got another question for you. Um, <clears throat> hey, first off, what do you remember my name? Of course. You're rich, and <laughs> we're brainstorming your also PMO presentation, right? Awesome, buddy. Awesome, buddy. Listen, can you help can you help define or differentiate between two two other two other items? Can you help uh, separate generative AI versus agentic AI? You bet. Think of it like this. Generative AI is the artist. It creates new things from scratch. It can write poems, generate, generate code, even paint pictures. It takes input and transforms it into something novel. Agentic AI, on the other hand, is more like the agent. It takes action in the world. It might schedule appointments, respond to emails, or even control robots. It's focused on carrying out tasks and achieving goals. So generative AI is all about creation, while agentic AI is all about action. Hey, that's awesome. Listen, Miles, I've, I've got to run right now, um, but let me take all this information you've given me. You've helped me brainstorm through, and I might come back to you with some additional questions later on. Is that okay? Hey, anytime, Rich. I'm always here. Just remember, good presentations are like good conversations. They take time to simmer. Let me know if I can help you add any spices along the way. Thank you, my friend. We'll talk you soon. Got it. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Later. All right. So there you have it. Now, um, I could actually download this clip, that audio clip from here. However, and that's amazing. I'm telling you, mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. I felt like I was talking to someone. I promise I did. But rather than download this clip from here, I've got my other uh, AI friend that's on this call right now, and it captured every spoken word and turned it into text. And as soon as I end this meeting, it will not only summer, it, it will not only transfer that over into text, but it will leverage its its AI uh, capabilities to summarize the meeting. I'll be back in just a moment and we will we will explore the output from my other generative AI friend, which is Simbly AI. Hold tight. Okay, a little time delay there, just a couple minutes and I'm back. I actually asked my Simbly AI agent to leave this meeting so that it could compile the, the notes in the summary. Um, now let's take a look at that, and we're going to show you how you can how we how we're going to interact with that. So let me share my screen. So here here we are. We're, we're we are within the product called Simbly or Simbly AI, and you can see that spoken word that occurred during the previous meeting or the, in, earlier in the meeting. You can see that it captured Simbly captured my spoken word, and then, hey, here's Miles, the AI bot coming in, brainstorming with me, and, and Simbly actually captured that conversation word for word, okay? But then Simbly worked its AI magic, and it actually summarized, it actually summarized those, those, that spoken word here um, in, in these notes. And so you can see this automated 
AI generated summary from here, but wait, there's more. There's actually a third AI friend that I'm going to call upon right now, and it's called Symbolian. And Symbolian comes as part of Symbly AI. Symbolian is sitting right here. So now I'm going to interact with Symbolian, my in meeting chatbot, and watch this. Can, uh, how about this? Based upon this, this meeting, create an agenda for the for the upcoming presentation go simply and go so <laughs> it it's it makes me speechless all the time it makes me speechless what we can do in today's world and so now I have an AI, I've demonstrated an AI bot that I can interact with verbally, brainstorm with, capture that information, and have another AI agent or tool work with me to create this. In this case, I've gotten to a pretty good, pretty good agenda that looks like, you know, you know, copy paste and start creating some slides based upon this information. Hey, maybe I should call upon one more uh, AI friend to actually generate the slides for me. But listen, I hope you found this video of value. I, 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 <laughs> I am uh, just uh, baffled at times uh, with what is possible in today's world. And I know everyone works differently. We'll see you on the next one. Hope you got some value out of this one. Take care, everyone.